once again for our viewers who are accessing Ahlul Bayt TV via Nilesat. There is a new frequency. It's Nilesat AB4A. The transponder is 118. The vertical is 10873. The SR is 27500. And the FEC is 3 over 4. Alhamdulillah, I'm honoured to welcome, I believe your name is Dr. Ihsan. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I've heard, before I actually met you, before we came on air, I'd heard yeah. about you already, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Um, thank you very much for joining us. And uh, apparently you've been arranging trips to Karabala now for That's some right. seven years or so. That's right. That's right. So you have probably seen a, a big difference in terms of the atmosphere and the numbers over the years. That's right. Yeah. If you could just tell us a little bit about what you've experienced in terms of the changes yeah, over uh, the years. It has been a, a great, there has been a great improvement. Because initially when we started coming to Iraq for Ziyad of Abdullah al Hussein, we used to come by ship. Really? Yes. We used to come from Dubai to Basra, Um Qasr. And then from there by, by road, by transport, buses, which used to take about 14 hours wow. to reach Karbala or Najaf. Then gradually, things getting got better. And uh, then we started flying. First we started flying to Baghdad. Then, Alhamdulillah, now the Najaf airport is open. It has become much more easier. Now we are coming to Najaf. And in these trips, um, I would like to thank the the agents who are helping us here, Al Masar, and also Travelix in Dubai, they have been helping us. Also Jupiter Airlines, and the, of course the government of Iraq, they have been very kind, always providing visas, and the Consulate General in, of uh, Iraq in Dubai. We are thankful to them for making our trips so easy and comfortable, that we could visit this holy place uh, so often and so regularly. Can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. For the people who maybe don't know about Imam Hussein alayhi salam, or know about him, but won't necessarily understand that why you would want to come year after year after year. Some people might say, you've come once, yeah. that's it, you've done, it's not even technically from a jurisprudential point of view, it's not even wajib to come here, uh, to do hajj yeah, is. I know, yes. Yet you've come seven years, and I'm sure, inshallah, you're intending to come uh, next yes, year and the year sure. after. Yeah. What makes you keep coming back? Because there are so many traditions which have been, uh, you know, given by our holy imams, that anyone who visits the grave of Imam Hussein al -Salam, he his all sins are, you know, wiped out. Plus, there's another tradition that when we come to the holy city of Karbala to, to perform the ziyara, the number of days that we stay here will not be counted in our life. So, in addition to that, we have so many other traditions which provide like, for example, after per performing the Hajj Wajib, when you come to Karbala to perform the ziyarat Imam Hussain Salam, each ziyarat, you get some of performing many Hajj and Umrah. And those Hajj which have been performed with the with the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So this is the thing which makes us keep coming every time. Yeah. And also, we have been seeing that initially we started with 72 people. Now we have 232 Zahirin with us. We could have brought more. The love of Ahlul Bayt, the love of Imam Hussain uh, is so much that they are all keen to come. But unfortunately, the conditions here, the hotels are not uh, able to accommodate them. Yes, yeah. yes, unfortunately. Inshallah, we will be very happy to help all the Zahirin to come and visit this holy place. Inshallah, Inshallah. Um, one of the sayers that I was speaking to the other day was predicting that in years to come, I mean, this year you may have heard that 16 million. Yeah, that's what uh, I heard. Uh, here. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, as you know, there are many, many more that would love to come, yeah. Inshallah. Inshallah. Uh, I just wonder how this city is going to cope with with more, but I'm sure. I'm sure it'll uh, something will work manage, out. Yes, yes. This is such a place. I think it gives, keeps getting wider and wider. 
Alhamdulillah. When the people come. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. And uh, have you had any experiences with the Khuddam? You know what I mean by the Khuddam? Of course, yeah, you've I know, been coming yes, here many years. So they have been very helpful. Yes. They are taking good care. And we have seen the improvement as I told you. Yes. You see, like we have, Alhamdulillah, six Zarin with us who walked from Najaf Ashraf to Karbala Muqaddas. Alhamdulillah. And uh, they were so stunned that when they started from Najaf Ashraf, on the way they were treated so well, mm. the hospitality and you know, they never let them uh, go without food or water, you know. Everybody was welcoming them. How much them did they have to pay for the food and the water? No, it was free of charge. Alhamdulillah. In fact, not free, they were forcing them to eat. <laughs> yeah, that's a... It's happened to me, in fact. I mean, sometimes uh, yeah. the khuddam, the servants have uh, asked us to come and take food. Yeah. So I've taken some food. Then walk another two minutes, somebody else is okay. begging to... <laughs> And you're saying, I'm really sorry, man, yeah. I've yeah. already eaten, but, you know, yeah. and then they let you go, but yeah. they are very... But normally they, they keep forcing you. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, Alhamdulillah, their, their love of Zahirin is, uh, is tremendous and uh, we appreciate and we pray for them. Inshallah, you of know, course, yeah. definitely. Alhamdulillah, and, yeah. and finally, uh, Doctor, I wanted to ask you one thing. You may have heard about the explosions that have happened. Yes. There's been, I think, two or three, unfortunately, um, you know, because of the, the network system, it's hard to, to keep yeah. track. Yeah. Um, shouldn't this make you think twice, maybe about staying no, at home? No, they won't deter us. We'll keep on coming. And the best thing is, we are here, we don't know anything. People outside, our children, our parents, they are calling from there. And we don't know what's happening here. We forget everything when we yes, come here. Yes, yes. So this is what is the love of Ahl yes. Bayt, love of Imam yes. Islam. And Abu Fazl Abbas Islam. Of course, of course. You know, it's because of them, because of their invitation we have come. Without which nobody could, nobody can come here. Yes. And yeah. of course, I mean, the, the, the main message of Imam Hussain alayhi salam and as you said, his, his brother Hazrat Abbas, yes. is that sometimes in life you have to be prepared to sacrifice everything, That's even right. your own life. That's right, yes. So, uh, you, know, you know, if it so happens that somebody yeah. were to, arguably there's no better place. I would consider myself to be the luckiest person Alhamdulillah. if I die here. Yeah, and that's maybe. what is my wish. Inshallah. In fact, I have, I have given a will, a written a will, Alhamdulillah. that uh, you know, my brother, my Raza is here. I told him that wherever I die, I should be buried in Najaf Ashraf. Inshallah. And inshallah, he'll follow my will. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And, and uh, uh, it's been an honor to meet you. Thank you. And remember, Sr. Daz, inshallah. Inshallah, yes. And uh, thank you once again. Yeah. Um, as you can see, and inshallah, we'll be speaking to some, some more members of the doctor's uh, um, group inshallah but as you can see the uh, shock the um, how can I say intense need or want or desire is probably the best word to use to come to Karbala despite all the difficulties despite, despite the lack of facilities despite the lack of beds and the fact that um, people have to sleep sometimes even on the streets people are more than willing to come and as the years go by the number just continues to increase exponentially and we pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that uh, Karbala this small town will continue to accommodate the amount of people that are converging on this holy city inshallah um, just want to read out a reminder of yours as well um, inshallah, you should have the text number on your screens, hopefully, because um, I think I've actually, yeah, I will try and get hold of it before the end of the show to give to our viewers. Hopefully it will be on your screens anyway, but the text message number is, um, yes, I will try and get the text message number to you, but I'm just going to read out one of the text messages that we have received. Remember, we're trying to read out as many as possible. It reads, Salam alaikum, please convey our salams to Abba Abdullah and Hussein and Hazrat Abbas alayhim as salam. Inshallah, we pray that all the lovers of the Ahlul Bayt and our Hajat get accepted. We pray for peace and understanding between each other and the reappearance of Al Mahdi Ajal Allahu Faraju Sharif. Inshallah, may Ahlul Bayt TV continue providing its excellent service from the family of Hasnain Viraji in Birmingham. And as always, I know I'm repeating myself, but the congratulations for the work that Ahl Bayt TV is doing is really going to the members of staff behind the scenes here in the holy city of Karbala and back in the UK. 
because they are the ones who are doing all of the groundwork rather than the ones that you actually see in front of you appearing on television.